What's up guys, it's Premier here, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day, and uh, this video is going to be very, very different from a lot of the other videos that I have done in the past. Uh, this is going to be like the first, one of the first videos where it's just going to be me just sitting here and talking like directly to you guys. Um, this is a video that I've wanted to make for a really, really long time. It's something that, it, it, for me, is very hard to talk about, and it's something that I haven't really talked uh, about with a lot of people. Today is uh, August 12th. Today is the least favorite day of the entire year for me. Um, four years ago on today, I lost a very, very close friend of mine named Cade. He was a very cool kid. He was uh, very funny, very outgoing, very athletic kid. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time with this guy. When I moved to Arizona, he was really the first person that I hung out with. Um, he was like my first friend and I spent a lot of time with him. We played football and baseball and like a year of like a year of soccer or something like that. So we've we've played football and baseball basically our whole entire lives together. Well, when I knew him when I was like 8. But um he was a cool kid. He was a really good dude. We went to a, a really small high school, so we were always like really close and we had a lot of the same classes and shit. So we we just hung out a lot. He he was a cool kid. He was a really good kid. Um about four years ago, he made a decision to do something that changed not only his life, but a lot of the people around him, their lives as well. Uh, he made a decision to commit suicide. And that is hard for me to talk about because he was one of my really close friends that knew me. You know, he, he was a good guy. I remember the day that I found out. It was Tuesday. It was the second day of school for my school that I was going to, my high school. I was a junior. Um, the day before, he was at football practice. And he was basically just seemed normal. Like, he seemed how he always was. Um, I, I wasn't playing that year because I had broken my left foot. So I didn't play, but for some reason, I just went to practice. And I showed up at the end of the practice. And I saw him, I saw Kay doing bear crawls. Uh, he had to do like 10 100-yard bear crawls, which is a pain in the ass. Like, it sucks balls. And I just remember, for some reason, I was just like, hey, I'm going to go talk to Cade. Like, I'm going to go talk to him and just talk to him. Because we didn't really hang out that much during the summer. I just walked with him while he was doing his bear crawls, and we just talked like how we always do. Just about random shit. We talked about his girlfriend. We talked about over-the-summer stuff. We talked about fishing, because he liked to fish and hunt. And we started talking about condoms, which is something that I just remember for some reason. We talked about Magnum condoms for some reason. And he finished up his bear crawls and went outside and his mom picked him up. And that was the last time I saw him and talked to him. And it's like, for me it's hard because I, I the last thing that I can remember is talking to him about is Magnum condoms. But it's like really weird. It's weird because like that's the last thing we talked about, but it's almost like fitting because he was just so goofy and he was just a random dude. Like he just would like that. He just that I don't know. That's like something that I just picture like our last conversation would be is just talking about condoms. And it was, but um the next day was the twelfth, um, today. And I, I went to school, everything seemed fine. Everything was good. I, I went to first hour, which was algebra two, and I hated it. And um, one of his really, really close buddies uh, didn't go to class that day. He didn't show up to school, and I didn't think much of it because he was kind of a. He'd be t he would be someone that would ditch. I just remember first period ending, and I was walking out of class with my buddy Palmer, and we're just walking through the main hallway, and one of our friends she runs up to us and she's just crying saying that Cade's gone and just being a bunch of kids just you know I was 16 I didn't really know what she meant by Cade's gone and I just kept asking her like what does she mean like did he move stuff like that I was just completely oblivious and uh, I just remember when she said he shot himself and I know that's like a touchy subject for like a lot of people and you know, it, it, it's tough. It's tough to talk about. And I just remember fainting. Like, I, I don't really remember much after that. I remember going to get my best friend at the time and still is my best friend and pulled him out of class 
But yeah, I remember going to his funeral, and that was really tough. It was really hard. It was something that no one expected him to do. He was so fun-loving. He was such a cool guy. He was someone that you would never really have to worry about doing that. And it was just like something so random, so bizarre. It was something that you almost wouldn't believe would happen or that would happen. I had basically spent eight years of my life hanging out with this guy that was a really good friend of mine that lived a mile away from my house, two miles away from my house, that I had played paintball with, football with, baseball with, uh, like a year of soccer and a couple years of basketball with. Like I had done all these things with him, grown up with him, did, went to parties and shit with him, and it, it was like he wasn't there anymore because he made a decision to do that. This video isn't trying to get you guys to like cry or be sad for me or be sad for my hometown or anything like that. This is a video saying that for years I didn't forgive him and I was really mad at myself because I didn't think I was a good enough friend for him to stick around and that I don't think I did enough for him to stick around and that's not the case. I know you guys some I know probably a lot of you guys have gone through your own things and have gone through stuff probably similar to this and I know it's not easy and I know it's very tough. The best advice that I could give you guys is to talk about it. If you guys are battling with depression or anything of those lines like if you think your life is worthless or you're, you're worthless or whatever you're not. If you're watching this video right now like honestly I love you. Like Thank you for watching this video, but not only that, is thank you for being you. Be you. Like, I, I just love you guys, and I don't want anything bad to happen to you guys. And my best advice is to talk about it. Like, you're not weak to talk about, I'm feeling depressed, or I want to die. Like, it, you're not weak. You're not a pussy. You're not a bitch. You're not less of a person. The, if you talk about it, you're strong, and that's something that I didn't do. I didn't talk about it. I didn't talk about the pain that I had that my friend gave me, basically. And it destroyed parts of me for a good couple of years. I didn't get over it until about last year that my friend died. My friend killed himself, and I didn't think I was a good enough friend for him to stick around. And I didn't think I was... I don't know. It was just like after that, I just stopped caring about a lot of shit. Once I started to talk about it with my parents and some of my friends and you know just I just started talking about it just a little bit I started to feel instantly like better about the whole situation like I stopped feeling sad and stuff I've dealt with depression before I've dealt with sadness and stuff and I know it's different for everybody everybody has a different way of it and it's tough I know I, I, I know it's hard the best advice I could give you guys is just please, please don't do that. Please don't kill yourself. Please don't commit suicide. Don't do any of that shit. Like, it's not worth it. It doesn't solve any problems. It creates more. You, If you leave this earth on your own will, like you just kill yourself, it creates this huge hole and void that people have. It's the connections that you've built. It leaves a hole. And my friend left a big one. Please, whatever you guys do, if if you're battling with any type of depression or struggling with any type of suicidal thoughts, please talk to someone. Please talk to your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your friends, a, a guidance counselor, um, someone. Like, And that's the best advice that I could give you guys is at least please talk to someone. Because I think if my friend would have talked to someone, I wouldn't be sitting here making this video. If you guys want to leave me a comment down in the comment section that you want to talk to me or DM me on, on Twitter or anything, I, like, you guys can. I'm here for you guys. I'm sorry if this video was very kind of emotional or sad. I'm, I'm not going to cry on camera. I can do that in my own time. But it's something, it's something that I've wanted to talk about with you guys for a really long time. And it's it's 12 o'clock in the morning right now. I mean, it just hit August 12th. And this is the first thing I started to think about was my, my buddy Cade. I love you guys. I'm sorry that this video was definitely kind of a Debbie Downer and not 
you know, my normal type of video, but this is something that I really wanted to talk about. And yeah, I will see you guys probably later today because the beta is still up. But until then, guys, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace.